طلاب العربية طالبات العربية أهلا وسهلا بكم مرة أخرى في درسنا الثاني عشر من المنحة ودرسنا اليوم هو أزمنة الفعل يعني verb tenses أزمنة الفعل في العربية تنقسم إلى زمنين الماضي والمضارع يعني tenses are grouped into two groups the perfect and the imperfect what does the perfect mean? the perfect means that an action is done and over and finished in the past المضارع is an action that might have started in the past but is continuing in the present and might continue in the future so الماضي كما ترون درستو now we put أنا in between parentheses لأنه it would be redundant in Arabic to say أنا درستو the verb, as we said in implicit pronouns, already includes the pronoun in itself. المضارع من ثلاثة أنواع. يعني it has three types. المضارع المرفوع والمضارع المنصوب والمضارع المجزوم. المضارع المرفوع ينتهي بضم. أدروسو. والمضارع المنصوب ينتهي بفتح أدروس أما المضارع المجزوم فينتهي بالسكون أدرس So your مضارع مرفوع ends with the ضمة المنصوب ends with the فتحة and المجزوم ends with the سكون We will learn when and how to use them Before we learn how to conjugate verbs in different tenses it is important for us to know that a zaman time has two meanings to it or two aspects to it. There is a zaman al-lafdi al-sarfi, meaning tense in a strictly grammatical sense. Aw ma'nawi, which is the closest thing actually to real time. Look at the example that I gave you here to see the difference and what I mean. Mitha, tantaliqu al-ta'iratu al-yawma ala al-sa'ati al-sabi'ati masa'an. What we used here in the word tantaliqu to mean the airplane will take off today at 7 p.m. Tantaliqu is al mudara al marfu'a and should indicate the present tense. However, in this case, that is only al zaman al lafdi wa al hadr. Yani tense in grammar is present tense. However, the tense that we intend in meaning, يعني زمن المعنوي, هو المستقبل. It's about the future. Obviously, in this sentence, the airplane is going to be leaving in the future, not right now. شكرا جزيلا مرة أخرى وأراكم في الدرس القادم.